Hello everybody, welcome to Digimon Story Cyber Suit Part 14. I'm your host, the one and only Dig. I did my off-camera grinding in this area very, very, very well. I should be well prepared to move on from here on out. So let's turn this case in and move on with the story, shall we? Nope, no coffee, Kyoko. Never, ever, ever again. Alright, so now we got this case, Scramble Pentagram, from the Enoden Occult Research Club. Let's do it. So you're the president of the Enoden Occult Research Club, correct? <clears throat> yes, and my name is Mei Kokush... Oh, probably not pronouncing that right, whatever. <laughs> All right, what have you got for us today? Well, I was wondering if you could help run an experiment to test an urban legend and see whether it's true or not. Oh, I like the sound of that. It's not something we get around here every day. Anyway, what legend do you have in mind? Well, it's called Shibuya Hirosaka, and it goes like this. At the Shibuya Scramble intersection, there are five hills, each of them going in a separate direction. You split five different people up, one on each road alongside those hills. Then you have them all head towards the Scramble intersection as they sing the Hirosaka song. If everyone makes it to the center of the Scramble intersection at the same time right as they finish singing... What, do their wishes come true or something? No, dead person is brought back to life. Oh, fabulous. We're going to be dealing with the paranormal. <laughs> Aaron does not seem pleased with that. Huh, can't say I've heard that one before. It reminds me of some old Shinto stories. If I know this is a bit crusty, guys, that's why I sound a bit nasally. Please forgive me on that notion. I can see what makes the legend so appealing, though. You have to make it to the center through that constant crowd all while singing. Pulling it off sounds like no mean feat. Indeed, we tried the club several times, but we always either bump into people or get held up by a traffic light. But we've heard rumors about your organization, so I thought I'd see if you could help us somehow. Rumors? Like what? Oh, like how there's a uh, detective agency in Nakano dealing in the occult that has uh, supernatural ties to in our world. <laughs> right. Where have you been getting your information from, lady? And if you go to it at 2.22 a.m., there's a door to the other world that shows up. Stuff like that. Jesus Christ, May. Aaron has no comment. Kyoko has no comment. They're all shut eyes. Jeez, I know we work in the shadows here and all, but to think we're so infamous as to be having people make up urban legends about us. Wow. D don't take it the wrong way, but still, it... if we could prove that the legend is true, it'd be <laughs> it'd be a real boon for my club. Is that all you care about, May? What do you think? I know your main work here is hunting down ghosts and spirits, but will you do it for... Where, where are you getting this information from? Wait, what? Hunting down ghosts and... Where did you eat people even come up with this stuff? Now you've got me really curious. Now you've really got me curious. Ugh. Well, my assistant doesn't know a thing about it. Yeah, I don't know where I heard it, either. Haha, <laughs> silly me. Don't worry about it. We'll take up your case. We need a little time to get ready, so could you wait for us elsewhere here in the building? Oh, thank you so much. I have art members coming, too, so I'll just wait outside for them. Looks like we've got an air root case on our hands. It's probably not the last one either, Kyoko. <laughs> but a case is a case. What are you going to do? I'm going to start preparing for our Shibuya Hirosaka experiment. Why don't you go talk with the other club members and learn more about the legend? Sure, I'll just hang around with these nut jobs if you want me to. <laughs> Have you ever heard the lyrics to the Hirosaka song? It goes like this. <clears throat> to hear of it, a curse. To see it, even worse. The death of Shibuya, it's where we all must cross. When you feel alone, down you must go. When you feel low, down you must go. At the bottom lies a secret hidden world, but woe to thee who finds the entrance there. For if you make it, you only meet despair, you only meet despair. And that's the same thing that a pitiful high school girl was saying. You have to sing that while heading towards the center of the Shibuya Scramble intersection for the legend of Shibuya Hirosaka to work. Yeah, 
Yep, you're part of this wacky club, aren't you? Shibuya is filled to the brim with hills, no matter where you look. There's Konosaka, Masasaka, Organzaka. Really, you could say that Shibuya is like the valley for all of Tokyo, and I don't just mean geographically either. There's just so much information and energy that flows into it from all sides. Many things that's why Shibuya is so popular to begin with. And to be honest, guys, I have no idea if this is true or not about Shibuya being on five hills or not. I have to look into that. I never actually bothered to look that up. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the Agamon Expert Medal. Can I pick you up, please? Thank you. <laughs> there are five specific hills you have to use for Shibuya Hirosaka. Dogenzaka, Bankamura Dori, Koen Dori, Mia Mazuzaka, and Meiji Dori. If you look at them on the map, they even form a pentagram. Oh god, don't even go there, Minaka. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean you don't see that? It's probably a good thing I don't see that, considering what pentagrams deal with. Satan himself. Yep, there's a final member. Hmm? Why am I wearing this maid outfit? Because I have to get back to work once we're done here. I came here because Mei really needed enough people to help out, but I can't see I'm otherwise super eager about the whole thing. Of course not, your name is Swacker Lily. I mean, there was an actual girl who died doing this, you know. Apparently, she was doing everything you do for Shibuya Hirosaka and got hit by a truck right when she started crossing the street. You don't say, really. I just want to hurry up and get this over with so I can leave already. <laughs> You've Your name fits your persona. Shibuya, the scramble intersection, a truck, and an accident. There you are. Woe to thee who finds the entrance there. For if you make it... Yep, let's not think about that. <clears throat> Alright, I got everything all set up. Get all the club members together and take them over to Shibuya. I'll be giving commands from here. Meanwhile, I want you to join in and help perform Shibuya Hirosaka as one of the five people. Of course you do, Kyoko. Can everyone hear me? We're now going to commence verifying the legend of Shibuya Hirosaka. I've hacked into the cameras at the Scramble intersection. I'll be watching you from here and giving you commands as necessary. Keep your eyes and ears peeled and be ready for anything. Now, let's get started. To hear of it, a curse. To see it, even worse. <clears throat> the death of Shibuya is where we all must cross. You're doing great. Keep up that pace. Will you? I need you to speed up a little more. When you feel alone, down you must go. When you feel low, down you must go. Good, good. You're all about to reach the scramble in the crossing. The traffic lights should cooperate, too. That being said, just in case, I went in and read the torque in our favor, too. Just go ahead and cross. At the bottom lies a secret hidden world. Woe to thee who finds the entrance there. For if you make it, you only need to spare. You only need to spare. Oh, great, what's gonna happen now? Well, how'd it go? Well, we did it. We made it all here at the, at the same time. Yeah, I guess we did, huh? Yep, without a doubt. What the? There's nobody here. Where did everyone go? You're right, there aren't any cars around either. Looks like we've lost contact, too. Wait. What's... what's that? Dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> well, should we go talk to her? Alright, one message. Yep, that but don't kill you makes you stronger, Black Agumon. Why doesn't anyone pay attention to me? Or maybe they actually do notice me. <laughs> I think I probably shouldn't record with this nasally stuffedness in my in my nose and throat, but it's too late now. <laughs> Hope you guys don't mind. Oh, right, there she is again. I can't live here anymore. I can't live and be here anymore. Okay, you taking lessons for the Houdini Spicers or something, lady? So I'll... Oh, so now they see, they see her too. Whoa, who are you? How long have you been here? 
I'll die and remain here. Here at the bottom of Shibuya in the other world. Sh she vanished. Ah! Eek! What's going on? What's going on here? Where did you come from? Okay, that's the definition of nightmarish. <laughs> what am I seeing? Hey! What's going on? Come in! Aaron! Look out! Reach! Ah! That was... that was a close one. If we didn't hear your voice just now, that truck would've... Okay, so she has homicidal instincts. Are you alright? What happened? Fill me in. What's all that? Now everything's going back to normal. What's happening here? Yeah, Aaron's speechless as usual. <laughs> they just shrug. Shrug. Shrug it out, Aaron. We owe Detective Matayoshi a lot for helping out again. Not only did he restore calm, but he also took the truck driver in for questioning. Apparently that driver didn't see any of you until right before you were all nearly hit. But here's where it gets strange. The crowd in the intersection saw you all the whole time but nobody responded to their warnings. It's like you guys couldn't see or hear anything that was going on around you. Actually, yeah, that's how it was. We didn't know there were still other people around till your assistant spoke up. And when this girl happened to be that high school student you saw there? It is, that's her. Y yeah, definitely, she's the one for sure. <clears throat> I see. Well, that sells it. What do you mean? Who is she? She was a high school girl who was killed three months ago in an accident at the Scrambles Crossing intersection. She died in an accident? For real? Yep, she was even hit by a truck. But th that doesn't make any sense. We saw her with our own eyes right in front of us. She came back to life. Huh? Don't you remember? That's how the legend of Shibuya Hirosaka goes. Hmm. So what you five saw back there was the dead being brought back to life, then. I don't even... I did a little research. Shibuya today is a valley that was cut off from Shibuya River, which itself now runs under the Scramble intersection. <clears throat> Rivers are a common border in myths and religions between this world and the next. There's the Sanzu River in Japan, the River Styx in Greece... I'd say you guys got caught up in such one such place today. There are a lot of names you can call it, but the end result remains the same. Anyway, this case is closed. We set out to prove Shibuya Yosaka is real, and we did. Really? You're just going to... leave that girl alone? Is that what you want to ask? Hmm, you may be confused about our role. Don't forget, we're not ghost hunters, and we're not exorcists. That's not what we do. We're cyber surfs, no more and no less. I'd appreciate it if you remember that from now on. May doesn't know what to say. Stay safe on your way home. Don't get any, into any accidents for real now. Woo, well, that case is over and done with for now, although I I know you didn't get a chance to really use your powers. But I figured if you had used them in front of those kids, that would just spawn their urban legend. Hee <clears> hee. <throat> yeah, probably would have. If I kill everyone, that'll make me lucky. If everyone dies, that'll make me happy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can open end in this case, but you never really find out where that goes off to. It's very weird, this game, and how some things are just left, left unsaid. I can't say I really agree with it. It's also the weirdest case ever that comes up later on, which I'll be sure to point out. Great to see you pull through that, that case. Keep up the good work going forward. Alright, let's save. I'm pretty sure we go back to the entrance of Eden for the next step. Yep, I was right. And Kyoko tells us this, by the way, in case you don't know where else to go. Of course, later on in the game, it gets very vague on where you're supposed to go next, but whatever. But, Mom, I swear, there's something there. I just felt it. 
Sweetie, look behind you and check for yourself. See? Nothing there. Now don't worry about it. Okay, we, there's a blue flame here. <clears throat> there's an anonymous post on my Digiline. Who could it be? Hmm. Stop looking at me. No reply. Yo, we got another case from the Occult Club. This one looks personal, though. I think those guys might have taken a uh, liking to us, given that we deal in the strange and unusual in our line of work. And in doing so, they're inventing yet more strange and unusual things into our lives. Starting with themselves, really, hee <laughs> hee. Well, let's go investigate, shall we? That's what we're here to do as assistant detective. So yeah, I must have spent like one, one and a half hours of grinding in that one area, guys. I got some low buttloads of experience, which I'm very pleased about. Yep, here we go. Nightmare Eater. We get memory up. How nice. Naka. My Digiline is weird. It keeps transmitting without me doing anything. Please find the cause. <coughs> Damn, I know this is stuff. Hey, nice to see you again, Manaka. What brings you here by yourself? Uh, well, I think I might be caught up in a cybercrime. Damn it. Cybercrime? Did you go to the police? I can't really. There are some supernatural elements involved, I think. I understand. You made the right choice coming to us. Alright, give us the details. Okay, take a look at this. It's a, my log on Digiline. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what you got. Yeah. Sai, shall I go to my club tomorrow? They claim they do research, but all they really do is hang out and talk. Yeah, I've seen a lot of that in high school clubs. It's only a club because everyone has similar interests. I should probably enroll in something a little more serious and go with that, too. And I could really use a hot, manly boyfriend, too. Oh my gosh, did I just write that? Heart. Huh? What's so special about this? Keep going, you'll understand why. Could Kenji have a crush on Mei? Whoa, 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 whoa. No way. She has a one-track mind. She can't think of anything else but a cult stuff. Does that guy even have his eyes on straight? He's such an ass. He has a real hottie right in front of him, and he can't take his eyes off Mei for even a second to notice it. Maybe I should seduce him, <laughs> Heart. I mean, I got the goods. I give him a peek, and he's... Oh, my God. Not very appropriate, Naka. Hmm, how do I put this? Your posts aren't pulling any punches here. You got anything else to say, Monaka? Putting my personal opinion aside, I otherwise don't see anything wrong with them. They look normal to me. Uh, the thing is, I didn't write that stuff. Well, that changes everything, doesn't it? <laughs> what? They just randomly showed up, but they freaked me out so badly that I deleted them. <clears throat> oh, I hear you. Then doesn't that mean your account was probably just hacked? Some stupid hacker probably did it to screw with you, or maybe your computer was infected with... No, it isn't anything like that. Hmm, now I take it this is where that supernatural part you mentioned factors into these posts? Yeah. I wasn't the one who wrote those posts and put them online, but they are how I feel. You see, written there, that stuff that I think about but don't express out loud. And it's kind of creepy. Okay, I guess you. It's stuff that's hard to share for any of their any of the other club members, basically. Right. Hmm. Seeing as you're in the cult club, I'm sure you know about the Ouija. Oh, don't go there, Kyoko. Ouija boards and whatnot, right? Your hands move against your will, sending you messages from the spirit world. Something like that very possibly could be happening to you. Looking at these post times on your log, those messages went out in the dead of night. <clears throat> You should have been long sound asleep by that point. Okay, then what? In the late 1800s, there was an academic by the name of Enroy Anui who posited these sorts of things can come from having multiple selves. Is positive even a word? Enroy Anui? You mean the man who came up with mystery studies, right? I've shown off his work at the club, but... Hold on, are you saying I have a split personality? The politically correct term for that would be the Dissociative Identity Disorder, actually. I don't think that's true or not. 
I guess I guess it makes sense if I'm writing those posts at night without realizing it. That will explain it. But but hmm, well maybe it is really is that maybe it really is that. Oh, I can't read. I'm so sorry, guys. Why stumble stumble these words? I really tried to read them clearly, but it's not always easy for me. I've honestly been worried that it might I, that it might be deep down. But no, that's not it. Huh? This isn't because of some mental issue. Here, take a look at this. Just try and find me. This was just now posted onto your account. It's a reply to what I wrote on your Digiline. To the culprit, I'm a detective who's taken up Monaka's case. Know that we will track you down and uncover your identity. No matter who or where you are, you can't hide forever. You've been warned. Well... This conversation unfolded online as you and I were talking while you weren't touching any terminals. That means you're not the one behind those posts, let alone any mental disorder of yours. The real culprit is out there somewhere. Whoever's behind it is just a dumb troll, albeit an arrogant one at that. <clears throat> the quote and Roy and Nui's work again, what we got is a case of a fake wonder, or someone trying to make this look more mystical than it really is. In other words, this is just a plain old hacking. You said that the contents of these posts are based on actual facts about yourself, yes? Well, I don't know about facts so much as just how I think and feel, really. Were you logged into Eden before you fell asleep? Yes, I do that every night. Gotcha. And the way I see it, I bet the culprit's been snooping around and hacked into your memory data in Eden. You can do that sort of thing in Eden? Well, not literally, at least not when you're lone wolfing it like your hacker here. Still, avatars and Eon are essentially digitized versions of people's mental data, so to speak, and some memory data hacks are theoretically doable. Things take a bit of a different turn once the so-called supernatural enters the equation. Huh? Don't sweat it. For now, just log into Eden tonight like you normally would. I have my assistant waiting for you in the lobby. Alright, but what do you actually plan on doing? Oh, let's just say we're going fox hunting, and our decoy will be... Our little maiden steeped our secrets, hee <laughs> hee. You with the metaphors, always with the metaphors. Looks like Naka's still not here yet. Here's hoping this isn't the sign of what's to come. <clears throat> hmm? Oh, I have Naka lay down our decoy. If the culprit's the type of person I suspect they are, they'll definitely go for it. That means it's a pretty safe guess to say that they're going to log into Ian tonight. Once they're in position, it's just a matter of apprehending them, but that shouldn't be a problem either. That's because Pete's going to be working with us. Now you're probably wondering, guys, who Pete is, but you're about to find out. Now look who it is. It's the amnesi Amnesiac Wanyamon. How's it going? More time no see. If there's a game for what you did back there with the AC stuff... I had Pete here take a look at those posts the hacker wrote so we could learn their scent. Yep, turns out those messages had traces of a Digimon on them. Can't fool me. I want you to know when the bad guy's close by. You can count on me and my nose. Thanks. But of course, that's why I brought you on board. <clears throat> this is so cool working with a real life detective. I feel like a real boy wonder here. Eh? You don't know who the boy wonder is? Really? Hey, I'm here. Sorry to keep you waiting. I did just like you asked to post the message on my Digiline, but. Am I really going to be okay doing that? Hee <laughs> hee, you're curious what she wrote, aren't you? It's fine, I'll tell you. She confessed her love to the hacker and also mentioned that she really wanted to meet him. Not the best idea, Kyoko. Aaron is in shock. It's a real blatant ploy on our part, but again, this guy thinks his hacking skills are hot stuff. You're going to want to verify Monaco's claims, preferably by checking her memories directly. Hacking memory data takes some work, though, even just to take a look inside of it. I really gotta stop drinking water when I do these videos. Water instead of seltzer. It'll require, it'll require actually directly reaching out and making contact with her avatar. Creeper. That's the only way he could have done this. He had to have been touching her somehow in order to do the hacks. What's more, messing around with someone's mental data would take going into the core of Eden itself. The security there, the security there is supposed to be tight as can be. It'd take real effort to break in. 
The hacker behind Minaka's messages would have would have therefore had to be touching her for at least several minutes before leaving his handiwork. That's even more creepier. I smell him, he's close by. Good, it's time to get go hunting. Go investigate the surrounding area and get this person out of his foxhole. It could be a female, you don't exactly know, Kyoko. Message. Okay. Hey, Mr. Navit. Yawn, I'm so tired. You guys are working so late tonight. You're a robot, you cannot get tired. Just point that out. What? I don't smell anything anymore. This is bad. If we don't pick it up soon, we'll lose him. Okay, you don't know it's a guy either, Pete. I smell him. We're getting close. Well, we're just going to go straight to the horse's mouth, right where we saw that thing before. Also, what time is it? We got some time left. I, I promise you guys a longer video. That's what I'm going to do. I know last video was a little short. There, right in front of you. Hurry up and do a scan. Yes, we got you now, Buster. You're not going anywhere. Voila. Uh, for real? How'd you find me? I knew it. The culprit's a little kid. Don't call me a little kid. That's rude. Hey, wait a minute. You're the one who spotted me here before, aren't you? Crap, how'd you notice me? You're not supposed to be able to see, be able to see me at all. Oh, so that's what happened, huh? Heh, my little assistant is so sensitive to digital waves and special networks, the culprit didn't stand a chance of hiding forever. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Bad translation. Granted, I can't tell if this was in the same in the Japanese version, but look what it says. He's a cyber swoop, when I'm clearly a female. <laughs> Let's be correct that. She's a cyber swoop. It comes with a job. But enough of that, we got questions for you. And believe it or not, guys, it goes so much worse later on. They call you a sir, they call you a he, they call you... Always refer to you as a male. It's unbelievable. I'll be sure to point those out later on in the game, too. <clears throat> Does that make you a detective, too? Whoa, you're so hot. Of course, she has her shirt open. What do you think? Yeah, whatever. Just answer my questions already. Who are you? How did you achieve such a complicated... I am what you call a genius architect. I'm not some lowly hacker or programmer. You look no older than an 8, kid. Come on. Do you know about the Baku Reborn service? It's a special service here on Eden. In cases like where a user either permanently leaves Eden or they die, the Baku Reborn service gathers all that user's data and deletes it. And I'm the one who runs it. Gasp. You don't have to act so surprised. Kids are just more attuned to the digital world than adults. That is 100% true. Especially in the anime. I just studied on my own and joined groups that I could trade info with, and soon enough I started working in corporate research and development. Well, good for you. Oh, but the reason I'm considered a genius isn't just because I've run that service, I'm also the one who designed it. Damn. Actually, what I said about Baku gathering and deleting abandoned user data isn't entirely accurate. It actually does more. Not only does it gather and accumulate data pertaining to a given account, it also organizes it, almost like it has a mind of its own. To be honest, even I'm surprised by that. I never expected it to act so precisely and deliberately. It's a real case of the creation's passion to the creator. Yeah, I can see that with uh, Anakin and Obi-Wan, but that's how it should be with these sorts of things, no? I follow you, Baku Reborn Service. Tell me, does the name Baku refer to the mythological creature that consumes nightmares? Yep, you got it. I needed that because data we don't show to want to show online is very much its own sort of nightmare. And by using that Baku on yourself, you could... Alright, I'm on to what you did now. Aaron doesn't follow. You handed your avatar's service level appearance over to your Baku and let it consume it. That way nobody around you would be able to know that you were working. We didn't let it purge that data outright. You controlled it yourself, making it hand it back. Like a dog returning prey to a hunter. Wow, you figured it all out. Yep, you got me. That's amazing, though. I love it when I actually be a smart doll. Hey, I, I'm standing right here, kid. I'm guessing you basically used that same trick to draw out Monaka's mental data, then. Yeah, I copied it, but I only did that with, that with her stuff, short term memory. The stuff you find around a person's hippocampus inside the real brain. Even something as advanced as Baku can't break into a person's memory with an active mental data. 
That would definitely be crushing the wine. I understand why that's bad. I'll hand over my copy to your partner, given the apparent interest it sparked. It really is like a Baku, isn't it? I think I more or less have a grasp of the current situation now. I am that I am not. I think that might be the best way to achieve, describe what your partner is to this world, if you catch my drift. Heh, <laughs> you know, I was thinking the same thing. Genius or not, even I can't purposefully go out and architect life itself. Of course, only God could do that. That thing was probably born as such by pure chance. I had no idea how it'll end up growing moving forward. Certainly, at the very least, I have a feeling I'll lose control of it eventually. That's not good. You really are smart. I don't just mean you know a lot, either. There's a sharpness to your words that I admire. Can I trust you to let me deal with the Baku? Do you plan on disposing of it? We'll see. It depends on how things go. Okay, I trust your judgment. You'll find it uploaded onto a site. The password lock for it is lifted. The rest, I'll leave up to you. Oh, this little kid? He's the culprit? I never guessed it would be someone so young. Well, I, uh, well, you see... <laughs> huh? Why, why did I do what I did with her account? Who, who cares at this stage? I won't do it again, I promise to even apologize for it later. You can apologize now, little kid. I'll even give her some consolation money, so just leave me alone. You know, I just remember, we've met here the evening before, haven't we? We talked for a little bit while I was waiting to meet up with a friend. <clears throat> right? So why'd you do all of that mean stuff? You're so smart, you shouldn't be out committing crimes. Uh, um... Yeah? Yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. There you go. That's what I was hoping to hear. See, you're a good kid at heart. What are you staring at? I did it, alright? I apologized. <laughs> Let's call it good at that, shall we? You still have work to do. I'm sending you the URL of the Baku Reborn service now. We're going to resume our hunt now, only our goal here is to capture rather than kill our target. Naka, I want you to go back. It's too dangerous for you to stick around. My assistant will take care of everything from here. <clears throat> Alright, I'm counting on you. We don't know how our prey is going to react once we get there, so you better be prepared for anything before we go. Alright, what time are we at now? Well guys, time to stop. Time to stop as always, so when we can get to a save point, or a good spot to save him. Right here's good. Okay, that'll do it for part 14. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.